Hey, Jono here. Thank you for joining me for Dementium the Ward. Um, this was recommended to me by uh, YouTuber Kershak. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I've never heard of it, so I had a look online and yeah, it looked pretty interesting. I thought I'd give it a go. Um, you know, it's a Nintendo DS game. I'm only recording the top screen. I had a look and it seems that the bottom screen is just your health bar and a map which isn't, uh, you know, terribly exciting. I think some, well, some of the puzzles do come up, um, like inputs and that, but I think we'll just go with this top screen for now, um, mainly for a better aspect ratio. Uh, now, I had recorded two episodes, but for some reason the audio didn't um, carry over. I don't know why. So, we'll be doing... I don't know, uh, I would say I'd get farther in this episode than I did last time, because I'm a bit more on to it, but um, yeah, there will be stuff that I already know what to do, um, but yeah, it won't be long before I'm running blind again. So anyway, let's, let's get into it. Right, chapter 1. Just a hell of a lot going on. Oh, we fell down a hole. <gasps> nope. We are here. Now it's a weird control layout. I'm using the mouse on the bottom screen to look around. And the D-pad on my controller to walk around and run. I had to double the screen size because my mouse kept disappearing off off the actual game screen. So it's a bit fiddly. Alright, let's have a look. An old notepad, but most of its page is torn out. Why did you do it? It's written on the front page. Here's also a small key. Okay. Yep. That's nice. Yep. Alright. Let, let me let me resume. Thank you. Okay. We'll be going for 20 minute episodes. I had debated um, doing chapter, each chapter being an episode. So we were admitted on Halloween. And we're John Doe. So yeah, locked with a chain and pedal. Um, okay. Locked. Yeah, I was going to record each episode as a chapter, but there was one chapter that was like just like incredible, like two minutes. It's a newspaper, the headline reads Man brutally murders wife. Right. I think most of these are locked, but tried them anyway. <laughs> Automatic doors. Alright. And there's all of these, but they're just names and, and dates. I started to ignore them. Locks. Ah. It's a flashlight. This will be very helpful. I'll be able to see where I'm going now. Press L button, turn flashlight on. Yes. I could already see where I was going, so it wasn't so bad. The game has a bit of an issue with me running at times. It seems like... Ironically, um... Alright, we need a key pad number for that. Um, yeah, ironically it seems like the bigger rooms make it harder to actually run in, the ones you, you actually want to run in. I did try that, didn't I? Yeah, locked. 
Uh, okay. So. Oh yes, maybe this room that I totally missed. Ah, there we go. I read 081399, it looks like it was written in blood, is this some sort of code? Perhaps I should make a note of it. Notepad. And I'm just going to jump down quickly, you can't see, but I'm writing down the number. Done. Okay. I get the feeling that the number was different last time. I could be wrong, but that would be cool because that would indicate there's sort of a random like element. So that's kind of like Resident Evil 3. Now I've already forgotten what it was. 081399. Oops. Um, yep, I, I pressed wrong button. Okay, Jesus. Okay, the game is bugging out on me for some reason. Just calm down, game. There we go. It's a nightstick. It must have belonged to the security guard. This may come in handy. Now it's making me equip it, but I don't want. I've never really been a fan of games that do that with the um, tutorial. It is a map that has seven floor west building written on it. Yeah, like, now it's making me, like, fucking, like, do everything. This gun cage is locked! One of those shotguns sure would be handy! Whoa, whoa, like... This is one thing I was worried about, I'm using different software, fucking hell, for our capturing, because of the audio. And... I might be using... Whoa, shit! I didn't think we actually... I had enemies here. Ow. Face the guy, thank you. Fuck. I thought uh, I wouldn't actually need the night stick. Yeah, that might be a problem. I'm using different software for capturing, but it seems to like probably use more of my computer's fucking like brain because it's hard out spazzing out which it never did before so we'll try and just get the hell through here ah okay so these are health cool I think most of these maintenance ones are locked so between episodes I may have to try and find a good uh, alternative for for um, capturing. Murderer, okay. I don't actually think there's anything in here. Health is something that you seem to just pick up and use then and there if you need it. You can't add it to your inventory, so let's just carry on. And it's quite nice it saves like every time you enter a room. Yeah, more health down there, but we don't need it. But yeah, see here I am trying to run, and the game is just like that. No running for you. But that would be more on my software, or hardware, than uh, the game itself. I should actually look at the options and see, to be honest. Like, that fucking heartbeat thing is super fucking annoying. 
probably shouldn't draw attention to it, but... Especially, like, I'm fully healed. I don't need to fucking hear a heartbeat, like, this whole time. Uh, not good enough? No, nope, not even an option. Ah, there we go. Ah, oh, shit, they tried to do bugs. And they can hurt me. Turn around, turn around, go on. Don't go up to them maybe, maybe stay away. Alright, yeah, there's just, just health. I don't want to just go plowing ahead to catch up to where I was. In case I'm like, oh, I actually did miss something. Like that note, well, the combination. Yeah, chapter two, the roof. So it'd be like, alright, that was an episode. It was like 10 minutes long. Which isn't terribly, you know, I would have been happy with that. But I kind of thought, nah, I'll, I'll just continue on. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> ah, oh, I was gonna say that went really well. Oh, okay, you got me and I got you. There we go. I do like the way it makes you switch between like your flashlight and your nightstick. You can't have both out at once. Oh yeah, here I am once again trying to run, and it's like, nah, like, this huge open area? You want to run, for some reason? Another one. Ah. Oh, okay. Is there a third one? Because I don't think that fucking even had swung at me before I took damage. So yeah, this is where the first episode got to, like, basically I came in here and left again. Want me? <laughs> Come on over and get me yeah. free cats, right? A little closer. Wait, you're not one of them? Oh man, we're gonna go! <laughs> uh, I love the way he shoots at you and it's like, okay, I'll just like, go up to him then. Like, take that, you freak. Oh, wait, you're not a. Oh, the 9mm handgun. It's a 9 Mickey Mouse handgun. That poor man dropped it in the scuffle. Yes, the scuffle. Okay, I'm starting to regret not just changing to the gun now. Man, I'm getting my ass handed to me. And of course. There's ammo nearby. I think the most we can carry is 24, which is what I've got now. Ah. Okay, and there's one left over. I tried working out last time with uh, each bottle healed one, or we have a. Uh, able to heal all of it. One go. But usually I was only taking one hit of damage. Jesus. I can't move. It's like just trying to slog through mud. Yeah, uh, it's just. it's a shame. The aiming's not too bad, it's a little... little finicky. Ah, oh my god. Oh, well now someone's coming. Yeah, like that. 
There you go. Good deed. I think there's one way over there. They're kind of running now. Okay, move, fucker. Yeah, movement's a little, a little cumbersome. This is some help. So I think I'll pick up. Uh, well, I just picked up one, but I didn't exactly run over it hard out. So I don't know whether. Yeah. I don't know whether. Yeah, if I just run into it, it would just pick them all up and waste two. Alright, lock. Keep it going even deeper down. It's a real bloody game. I do like the aesthetic of it so far. But yeah, that was it. Chapter two. It's like nothing. The only reason it took as long as it did was because the game wouldn't fucking let me run. Okay. Eat some light. Oh shit. Even though I just fucking did this, I don't remember any of that. Though I am being a bit more, um loose with my gun. Last time I just sort of like ignored everything. Well, not ignored everything, sorry. Um, I was just like, no, no, there's one enemy, I'll just wait it to death. And then I realised that I could only carry 24 bullets. And yeah, there was all the ammo that I was just not able to pick up. So it's like, fuck it, like, hopefully this isn't the game where you go back. Okay, can't even open that one. Ah, fuck's sake, move! There. Take that! Every time I fucking switch to a light, that's when they fucking come out. Yeah, see more ammo in here. Okay. Then I gotta go. Uh, 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 uh. Not this time. He's gone. Now, the other thing is... Okay, it does completely pick up, like, completely take... I'm not saying it very well, am I? It takes all the ammo. Even though I only had, um... Room for two, it took eight, but... It gave me two. You know what I mean. So it's one of those things where you might be like, ignore it until you're down to, like, eight. But like I said, I don't know if this is the sort of game where, you know, you have to backtrack and then it will just, um, waste resources. Hello. Yeah, I can see you. And the crosshairs go red even... Even when I can't. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Here you are. I see you, buddy. Oh god. There we go. A little hard to just shoot them in the... 
in the heart or whatever it is in one shot, but I'm pretty sure it can be done. Alright, well, we are all out of time. Does this say open or examine? They both say open. Okay. Oh, well, we'll go through this door, see what's on the other side. The disc! Ah, well, hang on. What's this? Locked with a key card. Yes. Now, what happened last time was I very slowly fucking made it. No, oh, does it say examine? Oh, I don't know. It's just last time. It's a map. I did, yes. Thank you. I will take that. I nearly missed it. It was a puzzle and I actually got stuck on it for ages and I, I had to cheat and look it up. And... Where are you? There you are. Actually no, nightstick. Because... Ah. For God's sake, fuck off. How do you hit me twice, asshole? Yeah, so one of them healed up too, so... Okay. We'll just go on, yeah, a little longer. I'll just basically try to get to where I'd ended episode 2 at. And then I can start next episode blind again. Ow. Yeah, the timing of Sweeney's a bit off. Like you... You swing and then nothing happens. Yeah, ooh. Yucky slug things. Once again, so like Resident Evil 3. Change the torch just to have a fucking enemy appear. No. Alright, I thought we were right at it. Might be a bit more. Maybe we will leave it. Let's just see what this room is. Ah, good ammo. Yeah, see I'd kind of guessed what the puzzle solution was, but I totally missed this book. Okay, it's a piano book. Yes, here's a little piano, we're dead above it. More ammo, but I can't take it. Toy piano, perhaps I should play a melody on it. And you can't see the piano, sorry. It's a key card, I wonder how it got here. Yoink! Alright, so I'll just head back to. where the uh, key card was. And then yes, of course, they break out. Too bad they make weird noises. Too bad they fucking exist. Ugh, this... I don't know how many there are. Oh god, it's right there. Probably don't have to shoot it, but... Why the fuck not? Uh, oh god, how did I... Ah, here. Yeah. 
We like it how the muzzle flash briefly gives you enough light to see where they are. Oh shit, it's right there. Good. Die. Uh. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Very slowly, but I am gonna just go. Any ammo? Ah, right there. Alright. Bit of a generous hitbox. I must admit, swapping back and forth at times like this is a bit tedious. Just run, buddy. Run, John Doe. I don't care. Alright, we'll go through here and then that will be it. The keycard unlocked the door. Alright, so I've never been beyond this point. Next episode, we'll check it out. So, until then, thank you very much for watching and take it easy.